Hey Aries, how are you guys doing? Happy Friday to you guys. This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and I'm coming to you guys with a general tarot reading, okay? This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the end of February going into March of 2023, okay? If you guys enjoy these readings, do let me know. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So, again, this could be you or your person, whoever you're thinking about and dealing with, okay? Take a resonate, leave the rest. And if you want a personalized tower reading, well, you can go to my website. You can go to my Etsy shop. I do have a sale going on. So um, I do offer, again, video recorded readings as well as Etsy message. I also have my decks tarot oracle decks spiritual jewelry and cheat sheets all right so aries let's take a look messages for my aries in love the biggest challenge for you guys the biggest challenge for you guys is the page of swords in a row so there's definitely could be someone you're connecting to who you're not really communicating as much with it almost makes you feel like you guys are going um you know going through some kind of little bump in the road okay where you guys are not openly communicating could have been a petty argument or even a fight you know the page of swords in verse could be you finding out more information about your person online you guys checking your each other's social media platforms twitter snapchat instagram facebook that kind of thing it also could be asking mutual friends like hey what's going on with this this person okay it just feels like the communication isn't as open and as free as it typically is okay um, it also feels like someone may have been dishonest. Someone may have not been entirely forthcoming about something and it has changed the way you guys have been communicating. So this definitely could be like a lie, right? You know, someone not being honest, truthful. Two truths and one lie kind of energy, okay? Or the half truth. <laughs> in the recent past, Aries, we have the King of Swords, the Strength in Reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. It could be a Leo, okay? It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It does feel like in the past there's something here about finding out something, finding out details, information. Um, there could have been something you found out that made you pull away, Aries, okay? Especially if this strength card is your, is your energy. You may have felt the need to pull away, to no longer give something your, your energy, your time, okay? And it feels like you had to make a decision. Two of Pentacles is someone going back and forth. This could be the energy of juggling, but also trying to make the best decision. Weighing options, right? This could be the energy of like being in conflict to some degree. Not really sure which one's best for you, especially if you're questioning someone's motives, intentions, stability, okay? If you're questioning stability or security of something. So it almost makes you feel like there was something you were going back and forth on regarding a person here and there was an energy of maybe wanting to let it go give up the current energy is the ace of pentacles a lot of you guys your eye is on the prize you may want a new beginning maybe a beginning a new offer okay it could be presented to you ace of pentacles could be anything right it could be a new job it could be a new car but it could be a new relationship and so um yeah i see that here five of swords and a death in a verse could be with a scorpio Something is changing and transforming within a connection and maybe you've been in great conflict about it. There could have been a lot of lies that were told or things that were just, things that just brought a lot of conflict to your life regarding a person and it feels like you're now finally resolving it or moving past it. Thanks to the death card, there could be something you're having to release or let go or transform your mindset, your way of thinking your perspective because the new beginning is coming in and maybe this new beginning is coming in because of the changes that are happening within a connection okay and this could be on the individual level but also the connection as entirely okay it could be like changing all right let's take a look external to you what do you need to know we have a king of pentacles energy taurus for capricorn three cups some of you guys you may be dating and meeting someone like this king of pentacles very stable very secure knows what they want male or female doesn't matter um but the three cups could be definitely like having fun connecting with different people celebrating you know sharing your cup and it feels like just very liberating very free um you know laughing smiling good giggling okay now there could be an opportunity for you to find love because the knight of cups is right next to it and the knight of swords so someone is coming in 
And I don't know if this is a past person. It could definitely be you letting go of a past person and now a new person comes in. A lot of communication with this person. It does feel like three cups. It's just, just having fun. So good time, good weather, um, sharing your cup, coffee dates, whining, dining, that kind of energy. Um, you may be questioning, okay, someone's motives for sure with the Knight of Cups. You may definitely see them as a romantic interest or someone who's interested in you, but you're not really sure when are they going to offer that cup. It could feel very casual, okay, especially initially. Three Cups could just be this person wanting to just be around you, wanting to be in your energy. But it is feeling like this is someone who's very honest, very forthcoming, very truthful. And if that's what you're looking for, there it is, okay? The Magician in Reverse, Gemini Energy, Five of Wands, and the Three of Swords. A lot of you guys, there's something that wants to take place in your life. And it feels like it's very... This magician is getting me very magical, okay? It feels like it's about time. It's coming. It's something you've been manifesting, something you've been wanting for a really long time. And the biggest challenge for you guys it could be the simple fact that there's something that you're having to let go. This heartbreak. There's hurt. There's emotional pain and loss. And there could be something you're healing from. You could be actively having to heal from this and put away and let go of some kind of drama, conflict. Five of Wands could just speak about just challenges, okay? Maybe there's some kind of inner challenge or inner conflict you have with yourself about how something ended in the past with regard to a third party or Three Swords, a person that you had deep emotions and feelings for. Now, with the Page of Swords being the biggest challenge for you guys, maybe there's something about you not knowing the truth or the entire truth why something ended, which is it's providing some kind of um, blockage for you to be able to heal, right? Sometimes when you get the clarity, you get the truth as to why something happened, you're better able to heal, release, and let go. And so a lot of you guys are something about, I want to know the truth. I want to know exactly what happened so I can finally move on, push that away, and have this new beginning coming in. And that's what a lot of you guys are dealing with. There's something you're having to release yourself from, heal, purge. And this is maybe finding out clarity, getting truth, clarity as to why something happened. So you can finally release it and let it go. Okay. And I do feel when you let that go, there's a new opportunity coming in. There's someone who wants to get to know you. There's communication. This is someone who's very secure, knows what they want. And they certainly could be, you know, coming in with a love offer. But I think it really is dependent on you, Aries, where you are, okay, with regard to a past relationship. And are you ready for that new offer to come in? So let's jump right in, Aries. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Give me that page of Page of Swords. Definitely could be two people here because we got the King of Swords, King of Pentacles here. Queen of Cups. So a lot of you want to experience the real, genuine love. Um, you have a lot of love to give. You want the same in return. And I feel like this Queen of Cups is really about you stepping into this energy and being in a place where you can finally, you know, connect with someone on a deep emotional level so you can experience that love that you want. But I definitely feel like maybe there was someone you had to release or move away from because they weren't they weren't in a place to receive that love that you had to give. Maybe they took advantage of you, okay? And that could be the challenge. Everyone isn't deserving of your love, Aries. So let's see. In a recent past, we have Knight of Swords, Ten of Cups, and a Seven of Pentacles in a verse. So there was something that you invested in, and it does feel like maybe you look toward the situation as a long-term investment, Ten of Cups. You could have saw this person as, you know, maybe building a home, a family with them. You may have saw happiness with them. Ten of Cups is emotional happiness, bliss, harmony. But there's something here about finding out the truth. Maybe you found out something regarding someone's juggling act. Two Pentacles could be them going back and forth, juggling, not really being um secure offering you security and it does feel with the seven of pentacles in verse that this is someone that you saw that you couldn't invest in for the long run there's something that became very obvious you saw this person for how they truly were you saw the truth right and you cannot unsee the truth so there's something about you seeing the truth and it's regarding long-term investment this is something that you could not continue to invest your time, your energy, your effort into, and you may have realized that. With the strength in the verse, this could be you literally giving up because something became too difficult. The strength in the verse, you didn't have the willpower anymore. Ten of Swords, yeah. There's something in the past that really knocked you out, that really set you back. And the Ten of Swords is that energy. You may have felt betrayed. You may have felt like you were 
blindsided right there's the energy of stabbed in the back and that is something that you had to let go and recover from and i think that's why the death card is here in your current energy there's big change and transformation that you guys are going through you're not you're not who you are right now today that you're not the same person okay who you are today is not who you were in the past and so we have the hermit so there's something about spiritual awakening enlightenment right with the death card and the hermit a lot of you guys, you may have had to really take time to go within, do some, you know, nurturing of your soul, soul searching, right? Hermit is introspection, reflection, and doing the work because there's something here that it feels like maybe you needed a moment to disconnect in order for you to really understand something fully on a deep soul level. And then there's some kind of change transformation coming with that. Now, with the transformation, there's some kind of hidden knowledge, something you're coming into awareness of. And with the Five of Swords, it's like you're finally able to make peace with it. You're no longer in your head, conflict about it. King of Wands is here. And the Tower. So, yeah, the Tower is here because it does feel like there was some kind of huge traumatic event. Something that may have really brought you to this place of... Um, Great destruction. Maybe there was something that was very traumatic you've gone through. The tower can make me feel like, you know, with the Ten of Swords, you were hit hard by someone or someone really set you back, but you are rising above because the King of Wands is here and it feels like you're you're stronger than ever. In the past, the strength in the verse, you were not very strong emotionally, physically, energetically, whatever. There's something here where you weren't as strong, but now you are. And you're moving forward and you know what you want. You're very, um, there's the energy of power. There's the energy of being bold and courageous with that King of Wands energy, okay? So it could be a Scorpio, it could be a um, Virgo you were dealing with. But there's a new beginning on the horizon and the nine of wands in the verse is suggesting that maybe there was something you really had to give up on and let go in order for this new beginning to come in because spirit is blessing you with this new opportunity. So let's take a look. Three of cups is here. You guys could definitely be dating now. Yeah, seven of swords and six of swords. It feels like there's someone that's going to come in your life and, you know, this could be through dating. You're getting to know people and you may not be on trusting of everyone let's be honest you may not be trusting of everyone because of what you've gone through which is okay but there's someone in particular that's going to come in and it's going to allow you to move away from this seven of swords energy feeling the need that you know everyone is out to get you people you know hurt you people lie people cheat there's an energy of moving away from that six of swords and making peace with something from the past so it's almost like you're healing through this new person that comes in and the three cups, you're having fun, you're putting yourself out there, you're celebra celebratory energy, you're celebrating something here. Um, the wheel in the verse, hold on you guys. Now the wheel is in reverse, so there could be something regarding love, you may feel like things aren't working out, things aren't really falling into place, but it does feel like maybe it's because you're holding back. Knight of Cups in the verse could be suggesting that you're holding back emotionally, you're not ready to connect on the emotional level, maybe you're so healing, there's some wounds regarding your heart chakra, okay? Let's take a look. Um, Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups in the verse again and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, there's some emotional burdens that you're letting go. Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands could suggest there's something from the past that you're still holding on to or you're, you're not allowing your heart to open up to. So I think the biggest challenge for you guys is the Queen of Cups, right? You know, be in this place where you're ready to give and receive love, where you're ready to, to experience love again because whoever that you may have given that Queen of Cups energy to, wasn't deserving of it and so now there is some kind of emotional repair um that is taking place and it does feel like with the knight of swords can also be communication coming in from someone gemini libra aquarius and they could be helping you move past some kind of emotional upset or hurt that you're experiencing this could be part of that truth that comes in um, regarding a past situation why it happened why someone left you in this uh tower in a ten of swords energy and again, the outcome is the three of swords. So you're healing, recovering. Eight of wands, you're moving forward too. So Aries, this is really good to see. Eight of wands is your energy. There's movement, there's change. There's a lot of communication coming in in the outcome. So if you're feeling stuck now, you won't be stuck for very long. Eight of wands tells me that you also could be communicating with a lot of different new people. You could be meeting a lot of people. The magician's here, right? So maybe you've been wanting to manifest new love and finally there's communication coming in. You're talking to different people, you're traveling, you're meeting people through travel. That could be definitely happening. And again, the biggest thing is that you're you're letting go of something. Okay, three swords in a verse. And then the four of wands in a verse, it could be something here regarding a 
a twin flame or someone that maybe you thought you were going to have this home and family with. There was someone that you're leaving, you're letting go. Eight of Wands, it could be literally travel away from a home. Maybe you're needing to like move from a home. Okay, literally, there could be changes within a home with this energy. Um, but the Five of Wands in a verse, again, if there's some, some kind of conflict or some kind of resistance against these changes you're going to be okay with it because there's resolution there's resolving conflict there's moving away from that there's healing and it does feel like this is something that you've been manifesting for a really long time so aries that is what i'm seeing please do like share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you are aware of when i drop these readings for you guys and have a great week all right check you guys out soon